Good morning, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son, the diaspora machismo. My people, it was another beautiful day for protests, and I enjoyed every minute of my protest. Oh, my people. You know the front of my sign says I don't want the white man's money, the white man's woman, the white man's friendship, or the white man's fame. And the back of my sign says, white man, why have you enslaved the African American? My people, I told you that if St. Vincent and the Grenadines don't get any help from one of the branches of the United Nations, Vincentians who need help as a result of the damage that Hurricane Beryl inflicted upon our little country. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is not going to get any help. We see the Minister of Finance um, in a press release said that he have approved $1.3 million for Beryl relief. We look at the, the damages in Union Island, Kanawan, and Myro. And you, you, are, you have to be wondering if the $1.3 million that was released by the government as hurricane relief for Beryl is not just to run the shelters that are housing those people who were displaced as a result of Hurricane Beryl. The Minister of Finance cannot be serious. This is not a response to a hurricane that has this devastated those islands in the Grenadines and have misplaced thousands of people, hundreds of school children who need to be prepared for school in September. Is this a joke? Is the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines ribbing me? Are they now stand-up comedians? What is happening? My people, in 2021, in April of 2021, while our people were going through a pandemic, we were confronted with a volcanic eruption. That volcanic eruption displaced thousands of Vincentians who were living in the immediate danger zone of the volcano. Thousands of Vincentians had damages to their homes and other properties. Thousands of Vincentians who are farmers lost produce as a result of the eruption of the volcano. My people, we got help from the wings of the United Nations, many countries overseas reluctantly helped us because they don't want to have nothing to do with concerns. My people, today in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, there are still a lot of people who have not been restored to their former state after the eruption of the volcano. There are people who have not yet been helped and they are still waiting for someone to come and offer them some help. They are suffering, but no one cares. My people now, the situation is now compounded. The situation is now compounded. Now we have hundreds of people, thousands of people, hundreds of families who was affected by Hurricane Beryl. My people, we need millions upon millions of dollars to adjust or to render help to those people. Remember, 
it is the responsibility of a government to help their people when they are in distress and to bring them back to some form of normalcy. We see the, the, the CEO of the Kanawan Resort understand this and he was trying to help the citizens of Kanawan. Ralph Gonzalez wanted them to play politics with the help that he's given to them. My people, help me to understand this, right? We have opposition in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. People who are being paid to represent those people within their, com in their constituency. Yet, there are people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines who have not been helped since 2021 after the eruption of the volcano. Yet, those people who are the custodian of those constituencies, those people who was given the right to represent them, are silent like if everything is okay. Yet we have an opposition in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Why aren't the opposition highlighting the plight of these people who need help so that the world could know that four years after the eruption in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, there are still people who need help. My people don't forget, Ralph Gonzalez's government invested thousands, sorry thousands, millions of dollars in restoring and developing the Arnesville playing field to host one stinking dirty cricket match. The match had finished many months ago. The playing field lies idle. Yet when they were planning to invest thousands of dollars in restoring the Annisville playing field, there were still Vincentians who have been injured, who have had their property damaged, who have had their home destroyed from the hurricane, from, sorry, from the volcano. That has not been dealt with. What kind of a government we have? And we have people like Fitz Bramble, and Dr. Friday, Fitz Bramble went and talked about, Comrade, you're doing a good job, it looked good, it looked good, it looked good. Yet, there are people who have paid him, who have paid him monies every month to represent them. Yet, he can be seen on video complimenting Ralph Gonzalez for the wonderful job. What Fitz Bramble was actually doing was congratulating Ralph Gonzalez for mismanaging the resources of our country. What is worse than Fitz Bramble's action was the fact that the leader of the opposition, Dr. Godwin Friday, was also lending his vote for the construction or the renovation of the Arnesville facility so that they can go and attend a cricket match. While there are Vincentians who have not been dealt with and whose problem as a result of the volcanic eruption has not been addressed. My people, what is happening in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? What is happening to our country? Something is terribly wrong. So all of you people who are now in shelters because you have been misplaced by Hurricane Beryl. Don't expect anything. $1.3 million approved by the government is only to run the hurricane shelter for about, what, six months or so. That will not help you to get your, your houses back in order. That will not help you to get your life back in order. That will not help you to get your businesses back in order. That is only for the running of the shelters. Ralph Gonsavs could allocate monies to build a stadium 
to not be able to re 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 restore a stadium to have a critic match. But you can't allocate monies to ensure taxpayers. And those people who elect him are taken care of. My name is Chief Stronger. St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son, the diaspora, machismo. Talk to you soon.